So right now what I'm doing with Shelby is something that we do with dogs that are a little bit questionable around other dogs. Um, feeding her, so food is a, a high value resource to most dogs, including Shelby. And that is uh, one of the causes for her to act a little bit reactive toward other dogs, uh, food and water. So I wanted to have food in the mix, but not in the traditional way of having it in a bowl because that oftentimes uh, can create more resource guarding type of behavior. So right now, I'm, you can see I'm just chucking food out on the floor. So it's kind of a scavenger hunt. So uh, I smiled at the camera, not thinking that I was gonna fast forward it four times because this was over about a 30 minute period. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but I started uh, with Morgan on the place. That's the gray dog, our Neapolitan Mastiff. So she was stationary, things were going fine. Shelby was taking food and she actually touched Morgan once or twice while she was eating. She kind of just brushed up against her tail. Um, and they were both totally fine with it. So I let Morgan be free for, for a few minutes and they were both very interested in the food. So uh, when there's this much food all over the place, there's, there's really not any one particular resource for the dogs to guard. So they're much less likely to have uh, resource guarding type of behaviors versus if I just put one bowl of food down um, or one treat, there would be a high probability that there could be um, that it could go poorly. So having all of these different resources out, the dogs are able to eat food and they're on a scavenger hunt the whole time. So um, you can see I put I put Morgan away when the food started to get down to the end of it, so that when the food was gone and uh, Shelby kind of came too, that uh, the other dog wouldn't be there anymore. So starting slow. Um, setting her up for su small successes. Right now I'm doing a little bit of conditioned relaxation, some deep tissue massage, and some name and explain. And I should say, if you, uh, if you are not a professional, I wouldn't necessarily recommend you uh, just throwing food about with uh, dogs that are dog aggressive because there is a lot of things that I'm looking at specifically um, to make sure that that stays safe. So that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, keep checking in on Shelby's progress.